it's not just you come out and you go and you're free to do it every five years if no one you know says anything wrong against you. There's so much self-regulation that takes place in our community because we want to make sure that we maintain those rights and freedoms and uh, the privilege of being able to respond to own firearms. Um, we hear oftentimes, I'm going to segment a little bit in here, to the economy. So again, I'm talking about dollars and cents every time I go click bang or bang click, whatever one comes first. Um, I'm not sure if folks get a sense of, when we're talking economic diversification, so you folks, you know, you're doing the black rifle thing. So obviously you came from a different background. You saw a niche market that started to get into. You guys at EM Precision are, are doing the same thing. You're, you're kind of hitting that. Um, I ended up buying some rifles from Alberta Tactical. You know, obviously you did that side of things and, and it was similar to your, your shop. I got something that was uh, non-restricted to my needs that I wanted to use in those lines. And you can go anywhere from the, the boutique price to what my nice wife knows the price is now. Um, you know, we're pushing four thousand dollars for something that I take out and I want to enjoy and I want to use for that sport and that passion. Um, we've got the Maco Colt. You know, there is something that's world renowned. When you look at the special forces units around the world, they pick Canadian product. Mm -hmm. They don't go with that because our, our spec types. And you look at the modular rifles and the IWRs and everything else that come out. They're they're elite. Like that's what the elite forces use. It's made in Canada product. So again, why some people would want to proudly have a maple leaf on the side of their pattern rifle, it's because we should be darn proud of the quality of the things that we do, and it's world renowned. Uh, Prairie Gun Works, I mean, phenomenal group. Again, you know, precision guys have been serving our military for a number of years. Uh, also, some of the other um, special operating communities out there as well. A bunch of their rifles now I can't have. Uh, Wolverine Supplies, I think they got together with the Dominion. That yeah, made the WK uh, WK Kodiak. Yeah, Kodiak Arms. So again, there's another great Ontario story. Uh, you start looking at the ancillary ones, the, the stuff that we use, you know, the patches, the vests, some of the safety equipment, line of fire defense. You know, they come off the page. These are all local groups and companies working together to do this. We want a diverse economy. The US, you look at the big companies in the world, there's tons of dollars and cents that go around promoting people safe, responsible pastimes. You know, if I can't go and get something that isn't Magpul, that's uh, uh, less than five bucks, that's bolted onto my two thousand dollar rifle, it's probably not a normal day. You know, there's, you know, they say it's the espresso machine type thing because you can bolt everything to it. It's it's one of those things, and it's no different. You're wearing a Night Force uh, cap. You know, again, all full admission. I'm sorry, honey. Uh, Twenty five hundred dollar scope is what I have on my long range gun home. And now they're about four grand. Yeah.